my god, this one is so gorgeous. Guys, I think I want that one. The bed is so gorgeous too. I'm low-key really debating taking the whole set just because it's like, it's so nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. I was getting in contact with the people from Macy's. They just weren't calling me back. So then I called her today morning. She was like, oh yeah, like I didn't have, it got too late so I couldn't call you, but we were given the order that we could release the furniture. Basically what that means that I can go purchase the furniture and then take it home. But I'm at Macy's and I'm leaving right now because of course things didn't work out. I'm kind of at the point where I just want to go to any furniture store. I'm kind of fed up at this point. So you guys will not even believe what just happened. I got a call from Macy's. <laughs> so they released my furniture so I'm able to go get it. All right, today is, let me check, the 16th. As I was going to my hair appointment this morning, it was probably like 11 or so. I got a call from Macy's and guess what they said? That my furniture was released. Like I just think it's funny how I waited for them for like three weeks. I waited for Macy's like three weeks. No answer, no like, no showing of interest in selling the furniture to me and the day that I was gonna go buy the furniture from Living spaces I get a call from Macy's like hey you want your furniture and I was like Sure, like I really wanted it still. I mainly just wanted like the dresser I didn't really want like the bed. It's not that I really didn't want the bed But it was just the dresser was mainly what I was after like going after after my hair appointment this happened Yes Yes, we were able to get the bed set. Um, Macy's right here. We were able to get it. So basically, I bought my bed now, and they are going to have it ready for me tomorrow. So what needs to go on now is I basically need to clear out my entire room. I need to take out my bed. I need to take out this dresser right here. My vanity, I need to relocate it. Today's kind of late already. It's 8 p.m. So all this moving stuff is gonna happen tomorrow. Today, we're going to bed because I've spent all day at the salon and I'm a little bit tired, just just, just a little bit. All right, it's the next day. Um, So today what we're doing is we have to clean out my entire room and we have to go bedding, shopping. Um, we have to go get any decorations for my room, all of that. Is today so I'm gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond I'm gonna go to JC Penny because JC Penny does have some really nice bedding my bed we're gonna pick it up after 4 but before 7 so somewhere in that time and I have everything cleared out right now it is currently 11 25 so it's low-key pretty late I didn't think it was that late I really like my hair do you guys like my hair I think it looks nice and I don't want to hear no it looks the same comments it doesn't okay it's lighter all right Shirt from Zaffle, shorts from Arrow. Can y'all see me? Sorta, a little bit. We are headed to Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm not gonna vlog while I'm in the car. Cause I don't think you guys care to see that. You know, like I don't think, I don't think no one clicks on my video and they're like, huh, let me click on the video cause maybe I wanna see her drive. So I'm gonna just, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna just film when I'm over there. <laughs> Um, I just got here and this is very different because I went to Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday and it was a lot smaller But this one looks really big hmm. I'm trying to find a little chair, but I can't find one yeah, These are just like vanities. Oh, actually that stool is not bad, but that won't look good in front of my bed So there's like a bunch of comforters here, but I just can't seem to like any of them this should make me mad. I came this far just for there to be nothing. Basically, I found nothing. Like the comforters there, I just, I didn't like them. They just weren't, they were really colored. And I think I'm going for like a white, gray, pink theme. I think that's where I'm going with. All right, so I came to Kohl's because they also have like a bedding section. Maybe so far, I have not found anything I like here either. All right, next location, I am at TJ Maxx. I've been to Bed Bath & Beyond. I've been to uh, Kohl's and TJ Maxx is next and I'm pretty sure Marshall's is gonna be after this. And then my lap, like if I don't find anything then I'm just gonna try to find one at Macy's but I already checked at Macy's and there was none that I liked. TJ Maxx, I really hope I find something here. I think, okay, so this is the white one and there's also a gray one, let me show you. 
But since I'm doing white with gray, I think I should take the gray, but I really like the white. Yeah, I'm gonna take the gray one. I stopped for a little lunch break because I am so hungry. It's two o'clock and I haven't eaten, so I'm really hungry. This is like my favorite Chinese food place on the planet. I, I really like Panda, but this one's even better. Bruh, it's fire. I got some of that, and then I also got some vegetable egg rolls because that's the bombest thing ever. Vegetable egg rolls are so good for no reason. Fire! I bought two so I can give one to my mom. I'll show you guys everything once I like I actually get home and everything, but I still need to take out all the stuff from my room because my furniture is coming at four or five-ish. Why do I look blue? I swear it's not blue in my room, what the heck? Okay, there we go. So I finished eating and then I went to go run some errands for my mom. But now we like actually need to start working on my room because my furniture is gonna come like any time already. My dad is coming home from work. Macy's already called to confirm that if we're gonna go pick it up today, which we are. And I need to have everything out of this room. Okay, to be fair though, the thing, I obviously can't take my bed out of my room by myself, nor can I take on my dresser or anything else. So my dad said to just kind of have everything. So like the drawers out of my dresser, I'm gonna take all of that out. Um. All the bedding from my bed, like my pillows, everything. I'm going to take everything out just so my dad can come. Take out the mattress, take out the bed, and my dresser. Because that's all I have in there. My vanity's staying in here. <clears throat> First dresser. <sighs> dresser number two. Dresser number three. Number four, I think. Wait a minute. It ain't going to fit. That's what she said. <laughs> dresser number four. Okay, I got the dresses out. Okay, this one doesn't fit, so I don't know what to do with it. just got home like right now which means we have to go pick up our macy's furniture so it is hold up let me time update it is 5 41 so we need to hurry up and go like now now because if not they're not going to give it to us i think my dad wants to take my uncle so he can help him like because what the ew why didn't y'all tell me but my dad said that he's probably gonna need help because macy's literally says like oh bring help because we're not gonna be able to help you guys finally oh okay let's go so we just got here to Macy's. Me and my mom came in my car and my dad is coming in his truck right now, but... Here are my stuff and then my dad is right there. He's gonna, that's my uncle. So my uncle's gonna help us put everything inside. <laughs> I feel so bad. And they got it. <gasps> All right, it's almost 12 p.m. and I'm editing, so don't judge the way I look. Low key, it kind of makes it look like my dad and my uncle are some weak ass dudes. But when I tell you my dresser is one of the heaviest piece of furniture to exist on the planet, like I'm not joking. The material it's made out of is really heavy to the point where like if I want to, because there's an outlet behind where my dresser is now to the point where if I want to plug something into there, I need my dad to come help me move it because you cannot move it. It's really, really heavy. And having to pick it up and load it in the truck was a lot harder than you guys can imagine. So if I was watching this video on YouTube, I'd think, damn, these guys for real can't lift. But no, it was actually really, really heavy for no reason. Like it was really heavy. Yeah, I think that's heavy. This is like my little bed frame. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yes. Those are the pieces right here that we need to connect the bed. All right, so everything was loaded in. Like the dresser, the nightstand, and the bed frame. And now, we're going home. So we just got home. Hopefully nothing, yeah, everything's good. Nothing fell. Ah, you like your backpack? <laughs> 
All right, so they sent me to grab this little thingy right here so they could bring the stuff. Here. Skirt, skirt. Oh, shh. <laughs> Mom? <laughs> the furniture is really heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Up, up, up. Wait, 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 my car. We came to 85. We got some smoothies and some bread for the for my mom and my uncle and my dad. Okay, so while we went to go get the coffee, my parents took out my bed. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. For anybody who's wondering, my dad made my bed. So I had never tried this pastry from 85. And I brought it for my dad and it's so good. This is my new favorite pastry. And then I got my mom a red velvet slice of cake. So while we went to go get the drinks and stuff, my dad ended up taking out my bed. Well, my dad and my mom, they ended up taking out my mattresses, like my frame, everything. Let me show you guys how my room looks now. So it's completely empty. They took out the bed. This is my mattress right here. But this is a full mattress and my new bed is a queen. So I'm going to have to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm a hot girl. I do hot shit. Bro, my room is so dirty. Oh, you're way marker now. Así mira. Beep, 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 Come on, Digger, hurry up. <laughs> he doesn't know how to build it. I was trying to convince my dad to read the instructions since like the beginning, but if you guys have Hispanic parents out there, they think that they know everything. <laughs> Excuse me. Turns out he wasn't able to even like put everything together. So I was really frustrated because he wouldn't listen to me and read the instructions. So I would read them. But then when I, whenever I tell him like, oh no, that that doesn't go there. He'd be like, you don't know anything. Aha. <laughs> All right, Edgar, this is how you do it. Edgar is my dad's name, real name, name. Um, I do call my dad Edgar, but it's like, like, it's like our little joke, like we play around. There's a lot of new people here on the channel. But I came to explain it. I haven't explained it in a while, but... Yes, Edgar, you were right! Wait, never mind. Come on. no te chingando! We're still trying to figure out how to put together the bed. Yeah. They can't figure it out. I'll be right with you. Superman, I need you to do it good. They were able to put that side and this side together, so now they're just doing the last side. So the frame is almost, almost done. <laughs> And then I was right, he did build it wrong. That satisfaction feeling I felt in that moment because the whole time he was telling me I was wrong. He was saying that I didn't know how to do it, that he was the expert there, all this. 
but he ended up building the bed wrong. That's on reading the instructions. Sorry! Finally! Okay, so now that we did my bed, they're gonna put in my nightstand and my dresser. But since it's really late already, it's 9.09 p.m. and my dad has to go do something. So they're gonna put everything in and then tomorrow, we're gonna continue by moving my vanity. I also need to buy the hard part because my bed is not this low. I need to buy like the hard part under that goes under the bed, but we're gonna go find that tomorrow. <sighs> I am extremely fed up right now because this is how my room looks right now like it's really bad But it's really late already so I kind of don't want to do anything But I feel like I should at least try to fill up my my drawers tomorrow I have like a little mini party It's not really a party because not a lot of people are going but it's just like inner close family are gonna do a little celebration for my cousin because it's her birthday so we're gonna fill up my drawers and we're gonna at least do like the first two so i'm gonna do like underwear bra socks in this drawer right here and on this drawer over here we are gonna do pjs sleep shorts all right so i pulled out three of my drawers my other two are still in there but this is my jean drawer so i'm gonna start putting those i think jeans are gonna go on this drawer right here um, this is how the drawers look, so they're really big, like really, really spacious. I changed shorts because I wanted to be comfortable, so... I don't understand. I am... Beyond tired. It is 11 41 p.m. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I already took off my makeup. I'm tired. I'm sleepy But obviously I don't even have a bed to sleep in so I need to take all that Put it on the ground so I could at least have somewhere to sleep. So we're gonna continue This whole thing tomorrow in the morning because I cannot do this anymore. We're going to sleep and we're continuing in the morning <laughs> It's a new day. I just woke up and the problem is that it's already 10 and I didn't even realize it because I set my alarm for 8 But I meant to snooze it, but I accidentally stopped it So, um, I just didn't wake up. So now it's 10 and I'm not even done with this And like I told you guys yesterday, I have to go to a party today Also, since I did get the store set, like they, like the dresser is low-key pretty damaged Which I'm really upset about because like a lot of the damage that it has happened from like when I first saw it to now like when I first saw it It was not this damaged and I'm also thinking that the people who like covered it Also did a lot of damage to it because my bed in the back has like a huge chip Where they must have hit something with it. I'm not sure what happened, but they chipped my bed the drawers were like hanging down My dad was able to fix two of them so that one's not as bad so i'm gonna keep filling up my dresser all right time update it is 206 also the music in the background they're cleaning so they have music on but i have finished putting all of my clothes in my drawers so this is the progress i mean i almost cleaned out everything there my bed lock cleaner drawers out this whole space is cleaned and sweeped now i'm gonna hop in the shower so i can start getting ready bras on this side underwear and then i can show you guys my my socks are just kind of these are just earbuds. I have fuzzy socks over here, and these, my socks, I just kind of lined them up like this. And then right here, this is just a tube top with some bandanas over here and sports bras. Uh, on this side over here, I kind of have my sleep stuff. So these are sleep shorts. Uh, the pajamas, more like soft, comfy pajamas. These are sleep shirts and more sleep shirts. Down here, we have my swimsuits. This is my favorite drawer, and it took forever. Like, this took the longest out of every single drawer. Because I was trying to kind of put them together, like, so it could kind of match, but it was really hard. Um, my one pieces are on that side. These are my tops. These are my bottoms. And back there, I have, like, a little cover-up. On this one over here, we have my jeans. So jeans, jeans. Right here are sweats, and over here are shorts. Sweats and skirts are here. Down here, 
here I have my onesies. So onesies on this side and then my beanies. I still haven't figured out where to put them. So I just kind of put them in here. But I'm not planning on leaving them there. And this is just like essentials. Yeah, that's kind of how I organized it. And now I'm going to go shower because I'm really like running late. But there's progress, okay? There's progress now. Uh, if you guys remember how it looked before, this is what I call progress. Just saying. It's a new day. It is Sunday today, so yesterday we ended up going to the party or whatever. Today we're gonna go get like the hard part for my mattress that I was talking to you guys about at Costco. And we're gonna like rearrange my room to how I want it, so we're gonna move everything around. So we just got here at Costco and we're gonna look if there is any here. The problem is that there might not be any in this Costco, so we're probably gonna have to go to another Costco. But hopefully there is some here. And then my dad's gonna come with his truck again and we're gonna take the mattress thing. Because it's the bottom, it's not a mattress, so it doesn't fold, so we can't take it in any of our cars. All right, so here it is. Luckily, last time we came to get a mattress from my mom, there wasn't any, but this time there is, and this is like the the foundation that we need. All right, so we bought it. Here it is, and my dad is like at the corner, like over here. Let me show you guys. He's right there. I didn't show you guys this in my last vlog, but here's like my cover, and it says like Malibu right here, and this is like the trunk thing that I was talking to you guys about. So that way, I don't have to freaking have like a blanket down there. All right, so my dad's up there, and then my mom's gonna kind of take it up for him but it's really light like there's nothing inside of there it's like just wood thingies but it's really really light yep. wait, 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 it looks heavy but it's not before we bring in the stuff we're gonna arrange the room how i want it to be <laughs> So we just got here at Macy's, but my mom forgot her mask, so she's going back. <sighs> okay, so update. Basically, just we're just gonna look for like the comforter, and that's pretty much it. I really hope I find something. If we don't find anything at Macy's, we're gonna go to JCPenney. This one's low key really nice. Let's see. I really like it. It's nice. Okay, it's this one right here. <sighs> All king. So we found, so this is the bedding. We found it in full slash queen, but I have a whole story for that. Those are the pillowcase covers, and we're also taking this one, which goes under that one. This is how we look right now. <laughs> All right, so we, I did not think we were actually gonna get this much stuff. All right, back to here. Now we can actually go and build my bed. All right, so I got home and I ended up cleaning like my entire room because I was like, I'm not gonna film this because I've been filming me cleaning like every single day. So I cleaned my room. So I don't know if you guys remember how it looked like. I don't know if you guys remember how it looked like before, but this is just kind of like I cleaned it and now we kind of have a base where we can like put my sheets and stuff. So let me show you guys. Those are my bags from Macy's, so that looks dirty. But my vanity, I completely cleaned it. I like low-key organized like the inside. My dresser, completely clean on top. Uh, I ended up putting that there, but my room is completely clean as of right now. You guys are balancing on my 15 champagne bottle, so hopefully there isn't no movement because you will fall. Let me show you guys what I got at Macy's. So this right here. Uh, so this right here is my like my comforter 
this lip, like, bro, when I say it's my comforter, I literally mean just my comforter. Like, no pillowcases, nothing, okay? No pillowcases, no fitted sheet, nothing. This is literally just my comforter. Basically, it's really expensive to shop at places like this because they don't bring, like, everything else. This, like, Coverlet set, three-piece coverlet set. This one is gray because if you guys haven't gotten the hint yet, we are going for a white and gray theme. Obviously, my curtains, we're going to go curtain shopping tomorrow because we're getting rid of all the pink, but my curtains are going to go. If I got that comforter, I needed to get the matching like pillowcases. So here are the pillowcases that match with my comforter right here. Got my pillows. So I got two... Pillows. These are just uh, Ralph Lauren pillows. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna put on is this one right here because this is this one goes like under everything. Oh, these are pillows. Well, no fucking shit. These are for like these are pillowcases, but they're like square pillows. be back all right i forgot that i also bought this blanket from costco like two days ago and it's like an all-white blanket and i just remembered my whole entire plan was i was gonna buy this one to put under this one so now i have to take the whole thing off and put this one under and then this one on top Dumbass. Ugh. all right so basically i'll be back when i'm done with everything except for my comforter first layer done now we go back to the great quilt to crap all right layer number two we got it so i put it like halfway the way it was supposed to be you guys can't really tell but here see now i put it like halfway and now we can actually put the comforter together I just I skipped you guys the time to just watch me do all this so I just basically did everything I put my comforter I put my pillows I put everything so my bed is now ready um so this is kind of how it looks it's really nice Cam the camera really does not do it justice and I'm so sad but the comforter is so nice let me show you guys it's white but it has these little like it's like a glow effect on it these are the pillows that well didn't come with the comforter I bought separately but this is like the matching one and then these are just white ones that I had. Like the little gray thing that I was talking to you guys about. Like the little quilted thing. And then this is the white blanket. So it kind of looks good like the three layers. And then I just folded it right here. Um, okay, and now I'm going to show you guys what I got from Ross. I already told you guys what I got, but I'm going to show you. So I ended up getting the gray rug. And this is perfect because it matches like perfectly with my bed and my pillows. And this one, I'm going to set it like in this empty space I have right here. So this one was $36.99 I don't know if you guys remember but I also bought like a throw on like a throw blanket is that what it's called one of those blankets that you just kind of put on top of things and that one initially I was gonna throw it in my bed but I just really like my comforter so I don't think I want to ruin it with my throw blanket it's this one right here I don't know if you guys remember this one I got at TJ Maxx for $16.99 
I hate how the pink looks and I'm tired of it and I'm trying to get rid of it. I wanted more of a little modern room. That one over there, that chair, this is where I'm gonna put it, but I'm not sure how I wanna put it. There we go, that looks nice. Also, we're gonna change out my light bulbs because I hate the yellow light. Let me show you guys the rug that I'm talking about. It looks really nice because like the gray and like the white, you know, the rug. It looks really nice. So now we just need to go get new curtains and put some decoration on my nightstand. So tomorrow morning I'll grab the camera and we are gonna go buy a lamp for my nightstand and we are gonna buy new curtains and hopefully more pillows to put in my bed to make it look a little bit more fancy. Today was a really long day so I'm going right to sleep. Also before I leave, I forgot to tell you guys about the whole Macy's thing, but basically- The lady said that they didn't have my comforter so she was gonna try to make me pay for shipping and have it shipped home. But I was like, nah, I'm just looking at more. And then I went to go pay when I was gonna get another one and I told the lady, it was a different lady and I was like, oh. oh. Um, by any chance you guys have this? Because I just had a feeling the lady, the other lady just didn't want to look. She's like, oh yeah, we do. She went to the back, got one, and brought it back. So yeah, basically that's what happened. All right, so I'll see all of you guys tomorrow. Day, I don't even know what day we're on, but it's been, I think it's been exactly two days since I last filmed. I skipped you guys the trouble of seeing me have to shop for all this stuff that I bought. Um, so I'm going to put the whole shopping process for this in a separate video, just because I know you guys are here to see me decorate my room, not to shop, like... So, I saved your time, and I saved my time. Actually, I didn't save my time because I still filmed, but I saved your time. Um, so, I'm going to give you guys a little haul of everything I bought. Also, at the end of this video, I'll break down prices, so I'll say how much I spent at each store and what's the grand total of my room makeover. Yesterday, I realized that I didn't have a lamp, and my nightstand, it just looks too plain like that, so I was like, I'm going to Macy's. So I went to Macy's and I ended up finding this really cute lamp. Let me show you. It didn't come in a box. It just kind of came like this. So it's like circle. It's like a circle down here and it has like gold right here. Empty from the inside, but it's pretty. It's like short, but it's cute, you know? Two of like these big square pillows because my gray covers, the ones you see right there, it's actually this pillow size. I ended up putting other pillows and making it fit, but it's actually supposed to be this size, like, of pillows. So I bought two to fit in, like, the covers. I also got them in red because, for one, like, you're not going to see because it's going to be inside the covers. But I could also use them for my Christmas decorating because they're red. Also, since I don't have a lot of decorative pillows, I got these two white fuzzy pillows that I'm going to end up putting on my bed. I got two of those and I got this long one right here which is kind of like crocheted. This is more of like a cream-ish color, not white exactly. Oh, I also got this plant to put on my dresser. The lady wrapped it up for me but... So it's like, it has like a white vase down here and it's just a cute artificial plant. Cause I ain't good at taking care of plants and it's gonna die if it was a real plant so I'd rather just get an artificial plant. I also ended up getting four of these curtains because remember how I was telling you guys, I'm just, I'm done with the pink, like pink is just so 2019 Natalie, you know? For my lamp and for my light bulbs right here, they're like really yellow so I needed new bulbs. So I ended up getting a four pack of light bulbs. These are bright, no, these are daylight. And then I got this little candle holder to put on the other side of my dresser. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. I basically tried to find something that would stand out, right? This is what I found. Any guesses on what this is? It's wrapped up, but it's a sand clock. It doesn't get any cooler than this, are you kidding me? Uh, so this is the candle that I bought. It's an uplifting candle, which I thought was cool because... I don't know, I just thought it was cool. I don't know. I don't really 
really like how it came out. Yeah, see, I don't know how I feel about it. I think I just need to let it grow onto me, but as of right now, I'm really not feeling it. All right, we're gonna move on to my dresser. I'm just gonna let the bed grow into me. I, as of right now, I'm really not feeling it. I think there's too much. I don't know. I don't really like the crochet pillow. Yeah, I think I just need to let it grow onto me. We're gonna let it grow onto me. Meanwhile, I'm gonna fix my dresser. Alright, now we're gonna change out this yellow orange light. So we're gonna change this. Oof. I need to let that cool off for a little bit because it's hot as hell. Okay, I've let them cool down for like 10 or 15 minutes, so we should be good. That's so much brighter. I love it. So my room is almost, almost done. I just need to fix my body mirror that's right here. I'm planning on putting some LED lights on it. And other than that, I think my room's done. All right, so I ended up putting LED lights around my mirror. I don't know if I told you guys I was gonna do that. Taking those mirror pictures is gonna be bomb. <laughs> but the only thing I'm waiting for is this projector. This projector that's gonna make like galaxy lights throughout the whole room, which is gonna be really cool. Um, it gets here till tomorrow though. So tomorrow I'll give you guys like the final reveal and I'll show you guys the projector and all of that. And we're gonna finally do the reveal. Hopefully I can post this video for you guys tomorrow. Bed I believe was somewhere from $500 to $600. So it was actually really cheap. It wasn't supposed to like the original price of the bed was I believe $8.99 or I don't remember. I showed you guys in my part one of this video but... But I ended up getting like a 10% for it being the store set and then plus... I ended up getting like another percent because it was already like a closeout or something like that. So I ended up getting the bed really cheap. The dresser was the same amount as the bed, so whatever that was. And then my nightstand ended up being $210-ish, which is really cheap for a nightstand. Um, so in total, I ended up paying around $1,300. It was a thousand three hundred and like twenty or something it was in the thirteen hundreds my lamp i already told you guys so that was originally 149 it was marked down 50 percent so i believe my lamp no it was actually i think it was a little bit over 50 percent that it was marked down to because i ended up paying like 60 something dollars so yeah it was more than 50 percent that i got marked down to 64 for my mirror so my sand clock ended up being 29.99 let's say with taxes it ended up being $32, right? I don't know, just a rough estimate. Um, my, this little plant right here, I believe that one was $16. My candle, like, stand, that one was $12.99. Um, my, the candle itself was $9.99, so let's say $11 for that. Each pillow was $12, so I ended up getting five, so five, five, 12 60 dollars but with tax or whatever so it was probably like 65 dollars my curtains ended up being 9.99 each one but i ended up getting four so that's 40 but we're gonna say it was 40 44 my throw blanket that is on my chair ended up being 16.99 the bedding which is the gray thing that is under there you guys will see in the final reveal tomorrow it's this thing right here watch this and the two pillow covers were originally $200 but they ended up being $70 the pillowcases so each one was originally $120 I got them for $32.39 each one and my and then my comforter ended up being from 420 was the original price i ended up getting it for 113 um so my total price that i paid at macy's was 316 this thing this white blanket that you see down oh it's right here that white blanket that you see right there i bought it at costco for 15 dollars i believe it was like 15 dollars i bought two extension cords because I needed them because there was there's so many wires behind my bed like I did not show that on camera but it was a whole deal to be able to plug in my LED lights my lamp my nightstand that plugs in on its own my laptop chargers like it was a 
that was his own deal, all right? You have no idea how hard that was. Um, so an extension cord, I think it was probably like $12 that I ended up spending. So that was probably like $12. I think each one was like $6. And then my light bulbs were $9.99 with tax. We'll say it was $11. I ended up buying some snacks for my snack drawer that I'll show you guys tomorrow. And I believe that was, I spent like $10 on snacks. So 2001. So approximately. $2,000 I could be a little bit over by like a couple dollars for taxes or it could be a little under for taxes I don't I completely forgot but I also bought the the hard part that goes under your mattress you know when I went to Costco that was 99 with 99 cents but the vanity I ended up spending around a thousand eight hundred and it was a thousand eight hundred and something I don't exactly remember the amount but that was a, the vanity on its own so if we add we get three thousand eight hundred and forty one so almost four thousand dollars in this freaking little room please give this video a like like please give this video a like i'm not too mad about it because i really like how my room ended up being but and another thing is that the most expensive thing here was literally my vanity because if you know anything about furniture, you know the furniture is really expensive. So to get a bed for like $500, it is not expensive at all. Alright, now that I've given you guys prices and stuff, I will update you tomorrow when my projector comes. Alright, so it's the next day and I just picked up my projector thingy that I told you guys about. It wasn't a box, but I took it out of the box. Look how cute this is. <laughs> yeah, um, I haven't tried this out or anything, but it's supposed to be like a galaxy, um like projector and it projects like stars and stuff in the sky which is pretty cool um i'll leave the link to it down below and if you use my code natalie in all caps you get 10 percent off and this is how the projector is home party night light relaxation ambient light starlight dinner and game room can i do all of that huh dope all right let me take it out of the box and connect this so i can show you guys how it actually is just a little FYI, if you guys are going to buy one, the controller does use batteries. It uses two batteries. And you do need the controller because there's not an online app for it. And this is the controller right here that it comes with the little kit. And it's pretty simple to use. You can just check the instructions. But if I put it in that corner, it wasn't going to grab the whole room. So I angled it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like angled. I did put some duct tape and stuff. Which I do plan on getting some clear because that kind of looks really bad. But that's what I have for now. Um, and I angled it. That way it grabs like my whole room. I'll show you guys how it looks with the lights off in a bit. Which is so freaking cool. I did not think it was going to be that cool. Hopefully you guys like how my room turned out. Here is the official finished product.